What's up guys, and it's update time. iOS 9.3.2 Beta 2 is now out. This is actually quite a long time in between the last one, and I don't expect there to be a third one for such a small update, but this new update comes in around 60 megabytes. In this video, like always, I'm gonna tell you what's new, and there is one awesome new feature, or more like an existing feature re-added, and you know, basically everything you need to know about this update. So it is for all devices, and it comes together with the new Watch OS beta and OS 10.11.5, I believe. So what this new update brings is just one new feature. And I absolutely love it. Thank you, Apple, for listening to your customers, the feedback and bringing it back. So without telling you, let me show you. I'm going to battery, turn on low power mode, display brightness, and boom, you can go ahead and enable low power mode and night shift at the very same time. So instead of working against each other, they now work together. As we know, night shift actually does take a little bit more battery because displaying warmer colors on an LCD actually drains the battery faster versus displaying blue cooler colors, which is actually more efficient. It's just the way LCD works. So now they're working in tandem and it's awesome to be able to enable both of them. Asking Siri will also go ahead and enable low power mode for you if night shift is triggered. So you can go ahead and get that option right here too. That is absolutely awesome. Thank you, Apple, for adding this. Now, what else? Officially in the change log, Apple fixed one thing, and that is with Game Center. So Game Center, a bug that previously existed, uh, may have possibly been fixed as with the change log. So it's not 100% fixed. It might have been fixed. I actually did record the amount of storage I had before, 3.4 available. 11.8 total, and I got 0.1 gigabyte back, so about 100 megabytes of cleared cache files. Anyways, Geekbench before and after. So 2505 single, 4378 multi-core score, and earlier, so it was 2547. So definitely a downgrade going to the second beta in the Geekbench, but other people have reported that it is snappier. So another thing I wanted to talk about is some bugs and issues that may or may not have been fixed. First off is the stutter when going back in sub menus fixed absolutely not it's still here if you drag it faster you'll notice that it does stutter and this is something that's definitely not apparent in older firmwares and i've got a 6s plus right here also loaded up on the latest 9.3.2 firmware let's see if anything got resolved here nope absolutely terrible the five frames per second lag in landscape is still present on the latest beta. Hopefully that could be fixed, but man, this has been around for so long. I just, I don't see that ever happening. Is the speed bug fixed? Let me go ahead and try and enable that real quick and I'll let you guys know. All right, and guys, bad news. I think this bug has been patched. So getting that speed boost on 9.3.2 might no longer be possible. And I say might because it could be just me, but it's already been, I think, three, four, five minutes and I've been doing it. I actually had it jump up and go down really, really fast. That's how you know the glitch works. Yet when I went in for the animations, they were still there. So, you know, it was a little bit disappointing. It worked in the last beta, but I cannot get it to work in this beta. So before flat out saying it doesn't work, I want it to other people to confirm that it no longer works. So if you guys are running this beta, let me know if you were able to activate it whatsoever because I sure as heck can't on my 6S. It's just not working. And I'm a little sad to see this one go. This was a really nice bug to have to completely eliminate the animations. And I don't know, man, I'm just really sad about this. Maybe it's just me. I can't get the timing right, but... I've never had a problem doing it in the past. I even tried it on the left side, still nothing. See, it just jumped down, animations are still there. So yeah, it's not working for me, guys. So there you go, that's iOS 9.3.2. When can we expect a release date? Probably in the next week to two weeks. Uh, we don't really see these going to beta three or beta four because it's a very small update, not significant like 9.3 that saw seven betas. That was pretty crazy. As for battery life, I'm really hoping it fixes the 9.3.1 battery drain because I know a lot of people are having that issue. I will run a full test just as soon as I can when the final release is out. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. Enjoy this update. If you do update to it, the night shift and low power mode at the same time is an awesome change. Peace.